Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here, and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert your DSLR, or one you're thinking about buying, into a webcam. So you can use it for video conferencing, like Skype and Zoom and Google Hangouts, whatever you're using. Or you can record and live stream using OBS if you wanna make content and broadcast with a higher quality video signal. I'm looking at you through the setup that I'm about to show you right now. This is how good it looks way better than an actual webcam. Let me just play the video. This makes it a lot easier to understand. This is my studio. This is my Camlink 4K setup. That is my Panasonic G7 DSLR camera. It's only 500 bucks. It's on my newer ring light stand with a little diffuser so I don't blind myself when I'm looking at this thing. And it's a really simple setup with only two cables plugged into the camera, a video cable, that's a smaller version of an HDMI plugged in there and a power supply. You got to get a power supply if you wanna use this setup. You don't wanna run on batteries if you're doing a longer stream, a longer conference call, a longer recording. Run that power out to the power strip and then run that video cable over to your video interface. And the video interface I recommend is the Cam Link 4K because I use it, I've recommended it to clients, they all love it. Here it is. See that blue cable up there? That blue cable is the other end of the HDMI that came out of the camera. The cam link converts that video signal into data so your computer can actually use that data. Plug it in to a USB 3 jack. Let me repeat that one more time. Plug it into a USB 3 jack, not a USB 1 or USB 2 jack. It needs all the data because you're sending live video into your computer. Once you do that, download the drivers and software for your video interface. In the case of the cam link, I'll link it below, and it's plug and play. It'll just work instantly. You'll be able to look this good on your Skype calls, on your Zoom calls, and your Google Hangout calls. I mean, I look way better than everybody else on the calls. People are like, what the heck is going on? It's just a $500 camera that I'm running through that interface. That's it you'll blow everyone away. If you wanna record and live stream, let me just show you how to get the signal into OBS. It's very simple. Here's my OBS. What you're gonna do is create a new scene or an, use an existing scene and add your DSLR camera to it. And the important part is adding a new source right here by hitting the plus button there. The source type we're gonna to use today is a video capture device. That's what the Camlink 4K is. I'm just gonna call it video capture device for now. You can name it Camlink 4K, that's what I recommend. Once this pulls up, you're gonna have all the different device options that could be there available for you. Select Camlink 4K or the name of the video capture device you decide to buy. Then select custom as the resolution. Now here's, here's the thing. Your camera will only output the resolution you tell it to output. So if your camera, you want it to output 4K, you have to go into the camera and tell the camera to output 4K through the HDMI output. If you want your camera to output 1080p, you have to go into the camera and tell your camera to output 1080p. It's not going to automatically be 4K, okay? You have to tell the camera to output it. You can't make the camera give you a resolution from within OBS or within the cam link, okay? So that's an important setting to look into on your specific DSLR. I recommend going as high resolution as possible and let the FPS be whatever you set from within the camera. It'll auto select that, hit okay. If it's all jacked up, if it's out of size, if it's whatever wrong within OBS, right click or Apple command click, go to transform and go to fit to screen. As you can see, I'm full screen right now. There's gonna be a bit of a delay between the audio and video because I'm recording my screen on, of another screen, but you get the point. So you can go full screen and go direct to camera like this. And live streamers, you're probably going to want to use it as a webcam. So you can move it in the corner and resize it, put it inside that webcam border, et cetera, move it wherever you want. And now you have a freaking sick looking DSLR signal you're going to blow away your competitors because you look so much better than them. Links in the description below to all the equipment and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Best of luck, enjoy.